The new research into sea snake venom is showing a powerful anticoagulant that could be used in open heart surgery to reduce the loss of blood and that would be extremely helpful. Uh, a new study based on hundreds of years of anecdotal claims that snake venom cures arthritis is the idea taken by the labs of Calcutta um, University mm -hmm. in order to look into the venom to see whether it has a degree of truth into it and it does. It is true that cobra venom may be used <laughs> as a cure yeah. to arthritis in the future. It has very powerful chemicals that can really reduce pain and inflammation and the symptoms of arthritis. And as I say, locals have believed for many, many years um, that cobra venom can cure arthritis and that is now what is going to be looked at mm. in the Western world. Okay, that's, that's, I've seen this one before, it's beautiful colour. Yes, it? this yeah. is not a cobra, this is a milk snake or a false coral snake. Now, the actual coral snake is one of the most deadliest snakes in the world. It's found in South America and it's extremely dangerous. The false coral snake is completely harmless, mm -hmm. but displays the same aposomatic coloration of red, black, and yellow bands, so that predators mistake this snake for the deadly coral snake and leave it alone. There is new discoveries by scientists of a Swiss pharmaceutical company of a link between this venom and anti-aging properties. Ooh. Now, basically, this, the venom of this viper can kill a mouse within a few seconds, mm -hmm. and it causes paralysis within humans, okay? Now, if it can cause paralysis and send humans into stupor, would the venom be able to work its magic on crow's feet. And that's what scientists are looking at. In fact, they have developed a new synthetic um, product from Temple Viper Venom called Cynaic. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, they are carrying out trials of Cynaic and 80% of 40 subjects, human subjects, who tested Cynic found that their wrinkles reduced by 80%. Oh, right. So That's excellent. Now, Cynic is not injected like Botox, so it could be bye-bye to Botox and in with Cynic. So Venom Triple the could price, be the new mm. Botox. It um, will be quite expensive, presumably. Yeah. But because they're going to produce it synthetically, this will bring the price down. Mm. Okay. Now, we're just going to look at one more interesting venomous animal which I've brought in for you especially. Now, when it comes to venomous animals, the people most at risk of venomous animals are people like me, naturalists who specialize in the study of exotic and venomous animals because we are looking into new species all the time. Mm. And the problem with new species is that the antidotes and antivenines have not been developed. And this is the case with this giant centipede here. Oh, right. This is one of the largest centipedes in the world. It's the largest centipede in India. And it is known locally as the walking snake. Mm. And that's because its bite is said to be as poisonous as some of the vipers found in the vicinity of India. It's an extremely feared animal, but extremely interesting nevertheless. Its venom contains high quantities of cytosolins and serotonin, which cause an extreme amount of excruciating pain. It is known that people have been bitten by giant centipedes, have thrown their limbs into fire to ease the pain. Oh gosh. And therefore, because the venom is so powerful and chemically so diverse, there is so much potential in there for a possible venom cure in the future. Okay, well thank you very much Dr Venom, that was really interesting um, and pleasure. also look forward to finding out what species of wasp that is that you've found.
here Hopefully in Spain. Hopefully we will have some information in the future because mm. we're going to send it off to the laboratories for analysis and we will find out what it is. Okay.